You need to have a little more respect for your elders, Thorn. You are in the presence of Chilho the Inevitable. The Inevitable? And what's so inevitable about you? Oh, is it the smell? <laughs> Funny, because it's true. <laughs> your sense of humor matches your taste in fashion. Decrepit and, quite frankly, a little overstated. Choco the fear? How about Choco the weird? <laughs> when do you go back? Back where? To the masticated park as you crawled out, Elves. I tire of your presence. This is the most fun I've had since I was devoured by that self-righteous dragon mutt. I'm not going anywhere. We should get butt coffins! Ugh. How would you feel if I erected a statue of, well, myself, right there in the middle of the labyrinth? My greatest rival. Arawa Joko. I suppose you were killed for real this time, hmm? My, my, Oswald. Are you beginning to wilt? A few centuries in this void of misery has done very little for your complexion. And you look a bit pale, dear Palawa. You could use a tan, or some flesh. I must say, Thorn, I quite like your garb. It's suave, menacing even. The flames give it a certain gravitas. Why, thank you. And that pumpkin head of yours. Yes, it's far more fitting for that big callous brain you've got stuffed in there. Or is it filled to the brim with pumpkin guts? Oh, I can't tell the difference. Well, your face looks like Lady Wisteria whisking tongue. Why, thank you. I've always loved a good cat. Say, why do you suppose the Ascalonians quit their day jobs after the searing? Because they were all incompetent hooligans. They got burnt out. <laughs> Damn it. That's a good one. Palawa, how do you like your steak? Raw, dripping with blood, still wailing in the background. Curious. I prefer my Char Royal. Char jokes went out of fashion a century past, Thorn. Says who? A Char? Oh, I have a brilliant idea. Let's play a game of Mad King Sands. No! It's my absolute favorite. I order you to do something, and you do it. But only if I say, your Mad King says first. Oh, sweet misery, grant me a swift, painless end. Or even an excruciating end, if it means escaping this torture. Your Mad King says... Touch your toes! Oh, wait! You don't have any! Oh, you are in... Penetrable. Joko, tell me once more about how you conquered Balthasar. A brilliant victory. Oh, wait, you didn't! <laughs> That's right. Ah, I remember that day well. We were atop the Kodash Bazaar, swords drawn. Liar! Morphy knew well my infamy, my prowess. He succumbed to my power almost immediately. Blah, blah, blah. And then there was Cranky Kralky. Oh, what a battle that was. 
What's the most popular drink at a Svania party? Ice brewed tea. <laughs> Disgusting. Knock, knock. Oh, who is there? Stop that, no. The visitor! At this hour! Oh, I must pull up the fine silverware. Oh, where did I leave the good bottle of blood? Gone. My joke is gone. Why do you look so smug? I was just recounting my many feats, my triumphs, conquering gods, bringing Ilona to its knees. Oh, I miss the tickle of the hot desert sun on my cheeks. <laughs> I can smell the stench of your rotting, burning flesh already. No, that would be your sixth wife. Iliad was a lovely woman. The poor dear. He said that slander. Iliad is my favorite.